What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Captain Price Reacts. And today, we gon' be watching Nine Guys Choose Her Perfect Date. Perfect match. I mean, I said in that scene, perfect date, that perfect match. This is a jubilee. Um, So, we it was the opposite. The last time around, they did something like this. But, yeah. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. What? Get into this video. You know, we ain't gonna use the color, colorful lights today. Baby Julie and Dayton. How do we love it? Let's learn from each other. Okay, Julie, you, you, you throwing me off right now. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. My name is Kirsten. It's very Hello. nice to meet you guys. I'm from San Diego. San Diego? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? I'm a student, so I'm a senior at UCSD, and I also work a lot. I serve at two different restaurants. I work seven days a week, so I am. Um, but honestly, I really like working. And what are you majoring in school? Uh, environmental science, nice. and I'm minoring in econ. What do you like to do for fun? Whoa, okay. Um, I just kind of tried starting surfing um, this last year. I've really tried to like pick up new hobbies. I find the time because I want to find the time. I don't sit around at home. I take every hour of the day that I can to be... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Why not? Thank you. Is that real or bubbling? That's perfect. Oh, don't you just bribe me? No, she's not. It's, it's like a respectful bro, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's that's basically my life every day. I try and I go to the gym almost every day. That's a big big activity of mine, hiding the gains under the outfit. What kind of car do you drive? I have a nice little Honda Civic. Oh, it is nice. No, it's really not bad. I'm a big like music fan, so the volume is very loud in my car. What's your genre? Yeah, wait, what's your genre? My favorite artist is Black Bear. Oh my God, mine too. Black Bear. Music. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really funny because my roommate is super into country music. It's down in PV. There's like a bunch of bars in Pacific Beach, and um, we're always fighting about the spots there because there's like a big country bar over That's there. That's a real argument, though. Yeah, I have a funny story for um, like one time I was in uh, PV. I was so drunk. I gave I gave him my, like, my debit card instead of my ID. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But then I no. But then I, I then I gave the then I gave my ID. I was like, okay. So have you had any crazy like party experiences? I would say I was actually pretty reserved for a long time. I really kind of stuck to my guns. So I actually don't have too many crazy stories yet, but I've really tried to pack it in. What's the red flag? I actually said this in, in the other videos and too, but commitment issues are definitely a big deal for me. Like oh, you were? I saw that in a video. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to know what everyone's red flag is. Definitely commitment issues. I saw that video and I was like, do I have commitment issues? <laughs> <laughs> for your dating history, like, what do you, like, what's normally your type? Like, I just in general, really like someone who's also outgoing. I actually am very outgoing myself, and I like okay. someone to be even more outgoing than that. So that's like a big thing for me. Dude, she look like, like, up here, look very muscular, like, who I'm ready to knock somebody out. <laughs> I'm trying to. It's, it's high. Yes, yeah. like exactly. A, like adventurous, like, hey, let's, let's go to this place right now, let's go. Let's right, go, let's like go. someone's gotta lead the pack, and I feel like I, I do that a lot myself, so it's cool to have like, someone else do that for once. And I don't know, in terms of like physicality, I think I just no. like handsome men. I think that's my type. Handsome men. You have nine handsome men? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you you ain't had no handsome men? Like, yeah, what's up? Let me get you, baby. Nah, let me get you. Hey, bro, you got no game, bro. 
felt like they like really related to her and like really liked her and like would want to go on to the next round let's just make sure that like people are in okay i do like for like for me i just didn't feel like i like related to her on on some levels because like i'm like like i think her music taste yeah yeah no like i, I like, like that's the thing though like i i'm an art student so like i can only relate on like know, music he and, like movies he likes and stuff. we didn't talk about that at all. <laughs> but at the same time i think it was like too quick to like to say like I can't relate to that person. Not I for sure want to know her better. Oh, like like, like to like, like continue to talk. Day. Yeah. Pizza, pizza. Matthew, Little Caesars is now the official pizza of the NFL. When you shop at Walmart, you get it. You can spend a little less and make your dorm feel a little more like yours. Oh, you got clammy hands? I oh, thought you were talking about mine. I was no, like, no, no, no. You get the clammy hands too. Yeah, Hello. I got <laughs> Nice to meet you. Again? Officially, yeah. I don't think I told my name. I'm Brandon. Brandon, take Pleasure cool. to meet you. I feel like this is also the perfect time to make a clarification. Yeah. Very common misconception. My name is Kirsten. Kirsten, okay. <laughs> Did I pronounce it wrong the first time? I don't know, but usually. So, so is Kirsten a unisex name? Because I know a dude named Kirsten. A unisex name. Well, we're gonna find out. They do. Cool. So cool. I just like to put it out there. It's now coming. I know, now I know, then we're good. Yeah, now we're cool. Before we weren't cool? No. Uh, you got bro remember? Oh, I did get bro yeah. She did bro me, I forgot, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out your busy week to come of see course. us. Of course, anytime. We work seven days a week. This is one of those seven days, so. It's very true. Yeah. I had to switch shifts for, for this. It's very important. I don't. I really don't understand how you... You seem like you have like a lot of things going on all the time. I don't know how I you balance do. Them. I just never stop. I'm at my house for like maybe 30 minutes in the middle of the day to like change wow. for work. Ew. That's really admirable. Like I respect yeah. that a lot. I wish I had much more of like the drive in me to do that. Like I love going back home and just being on my bed. I'm like, oh, this is yeah. so nice. Like it's like a chill time. I feel like you're playing a game or something. Uh, right now, no. Actually, recently I just went full time artist. So as of oh, right oh. now, I don't have a job. I'm also a full-time student, so I go to school in Long Beach as, for psychology, so. Yeah. So you're from San Diego, you said? I am, born and raised, I've lived there my whole life. That's awesome. How about you? Look, Indiana. Oh, wow. So not what even part? close, yeah, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm from San Diego as well. What part? Like Vista, okay. Carlsbad area. I'm from Argentina, that's why I have this Sounds accent. like it, yep. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I've been here for two months. So oh, wow. you say that like, you spend time in the ocean, so that's cool. I I've been getting surf here, uh -huh. so that's, I don't know, have you surf here in LA? I have not in Indiana. He like this, he like, yeah, this is my first is time. I don't like think this. it's as great as San Diego, to be honest. No. I think San Diego's got some killer surf, so I agree. Yeah, and, and the water is clean, like super yes. clean. What's your dream job? It can include environmental science, but like really just what you would want to do in like in general. Yeah. I do really like politics, which is kind of nice. like random, but I really like public speaking. I feel like that's a good asset to have for that kind of job. Definitely. I could see myself in, in government or in politics and kind of using that environmental background to sort of inform. That's a great answer. When you, anytime you do politics, the best place to go is the DMV. More so DC than anything. Like, that's where you, well, if you done with politics, that's the best best place where you gonna see the, the, the most at. You ain't gonna see that. You gonna see the most money. I can't lie, probably in other states too, but because that's the capital, and there's a lot of government officials and stuff like that. Politics is a big thing in this area. If that behind the capital, capital, you know, it's no politics. You know, it's all a gang, gang, bang, bang. You know, you know. So yeah, if she ever watched this video, it'd be perfect. You can move to DC area if you. Well, if you want to do something like that and proceed and make good money at it. Any, this area is built for 
the DMV area is built more so Mer latter Maryland, closer to DC, like PG County, Montgomery County, and DC is m made for if you if you want to make it in politics and federal government, you <laughs> come here. One, because our generation needs to get more I into know somebody politics, made so Congress. that we can get people in our generation. I had a whole question on my old job. So, like, what's the most impulsive thing you've ever done? Yeah, I, I always consider myself to be very impulsive. Like, mm -hmm. I'll just do whatever. Make Someone invites dog. me to something, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to do anything, like, I'll just do it. There's, yeah. there's no no. It's always yes. I like that. So yeah, I did the same thing. So I had like an impulsive like tattoo moment. So I actually got a yes <laughs> tattoo. So, oh my God. so it's like, say, yeah, like, you know, saying yes to new opportunities, like getting out of your comfort zone and yeah. just like kind of going for it. So have you ever been to South America? I've been to Costa Rica. Costa Rica? But oh, it. nice. But I absolutely loved it there. It's been my favorite place I've ever traveled. I, I, I want to go to Costa Rica so bad, like so yeah. bad. They, they have the best waves over there. Where am I going to take you out for your, our first date? What do you like to eat? Or, oh, wow. You know, That's um, weird. Yeah. I really like Italian food mm -hmm. and Mexican food, but it's kind of interesting because I do consider myself very adventurous, but the one thing I am not adventurous in is food. Like simple foods, that is yeah. what I'm eating. Cool. Bean pizza. cheese burrito. Yeah, I'll take a cheese pizza. Bean and cheese burrito? Uh huh. <laughs> but you like Italian food, so like. Italian I do foods. like Italian yeah. food, I right? Actually, um, I work at an Italian bakery and I'm a, oh. I'm a baker there, so I do that. Okay. So I'm the job. There you pizza. go. When they, when they, when any woman do like, I don't care what co culture you, what color skin, whatever, when they get to doing like, oh, for real, yeah, mm -hmm. they interesting, interesting. You hear me? I feel about nightlife. I mean, you have been to Europe. Parties in Argentina usually like we go to the nightclub at two a.m. Yeah, and we party that until like six, and then we may go to another party afterward. Oh. Yeah, we party, we party hard in Argentina. But here, here I, I go to the to, like the venue or the place like nine. I'm out, I'm out in my bed like at three. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I can't imagine being out later than two in the morning. One of my biggest things, like honesty. So like I, you know, I just want to be honest. I almost voted myself off just because like I didn't talk much in that first round, yeah. and I did hear what I you were saying about like wanting somebody who's more outgoing than you. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if I am. You know, when you get more comfortable with somebody, I do get more outgoing. Right. But like. I'm a little bit more shy at first, but even now I feel more comfortable. Like yeah, yeah I mean, I think either way, putting yourself out there, I'm just coming nervous, here at all, and, and speaking at all is a big deal, yeah, especially no. for someone who maybe considers themselves to be a little bit more reserved. Yeah, I, I would say I am, but like once I get like more comfortable, then I'm like, you're gonna be like, you're, you're annoying. Like please, like yeah. leave me alone, leave me alone. Like I'm done with you. Wow, that's aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't end on something like that. No, but like I'm fun yes. too. Like I like to go out. I like yeah, the hiking. Yeah, come here, Katie. Promote you. yourself for 20 seconds. Uh, trilingual. Oh, so I speak what you want? Different languages: French, Italian, and English. That's cool. So I'm really outgoing as well. Okay. It's okay. sometimes hard yeah. because of the English, like to communicate around. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, some? I don't know. I what just go want? in adventures that like, I'm like down for a plan. Whatever they say, time to go. Yeah. I'm going. I'm 100 percent in. Yes. Always yes. Uh, always yes. <laughs> What but it's good to say no sometimes as well. You. So yeah. you gotta you gotta find the balance. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that was sweet. Very nice. You got I appreciate you. Don't you? Me too. Have a nice yeah. one, Kristen. Thank you. Yes, you do. No, yeah. What you want then? And then. Go grab me a go grab you you a banana. I'm not gonna lie, I don't no. think anybody should vote for go me. Go grab a banana off the table. <laughs> I have friends that are picky eaters, and that's. Stuff low key makes me mad a little bit, a little bit like, like beans and cheese. Take like it cool, it tastes good, but like you're missing out on a lot. I feel like personally, I think Leo and Santi, I was thinking, but so I'm gonna I'm make my decision up there. But I feel like Santi was providing some like unknown when she started talking to Santi, like her whole body posture changed. She put her leg up on the chair, she crossed her arms. She was like, <laughs> he like, oh yeah, my man. Pretty good. Hold on, Bell. Hold on. Okay, be patient. Be patient, Bell. It's, it's Never not that serious. Be patient. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Sure am. You're going to finish watching this and then I'm going to get that for you. Yeah.
just can't reach you. Hey. Hey. Long time. Long time, too. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Well, nice to see you behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, it's like cool to have been on both ends of this as well. Okay. So my picks after the first round were Daniel, Santiago, and Leo. And then my pick this round, Santiago. Hey! hey. You say that. Yes, hey. See, look at that. Maybe I should trust you guys. I think it's you? adventure time. That's what I've heard I in mean, the long conversation. I'm down to go to San Diego oh, to, yeah. uh, for our first date. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Well, come on Take down. I'll be there. It's easy to try to poke that butt out, man. She wants some, she wants that black, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> y'all go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see y'all in the next video.